Hello and welcome to the channel. Who would have thought that out of all of those companies, Meta would be leading the procession of open source in artificial intelligence. After the successful release of Llama 3.1 in various flavors, Meta has released SAM2. SAM stands for Segment Anything Model and this SAM2 is the second version which has evolved from SAM1. This model is a segmentation model. When we say segmentation or object segmentation, it means to identify the pixels in an image that corresponds to an object of interest. And it is a fundamental task in the field of computer vision. The Meta Segment Anything Model SAM was released last year and we already have covered it on the channel hands on. So if you're interested to see how this thing has evolved, please check out that video. SAM2 is the first unified model for real-time promptable object segmentation in images and videos. That enables a step change in the video segmentation experience and seamless use across image and video applications. In this video, we are going to install this on free Google Colab and we will see how it works. SAM2 has already exceeded previous capabilities in image segmentation accuracy and achieves a better video segmentation performance than existing work while requiring three times less interaction time, which is no less feed. SAM2 can also segment any object in any video or image, which is also called as a zero shot generalization which means that it can be applied to previously unseen visual content without custom adaptation. Before SAM was released, creating an accurate object segmentation model for specific image tasks required highly specialized work by technical experts with access to AI training infrastructure and large volumes of carefully annotated in-domain data. But SAM has changed everything. It has enabled application to a wide variety of real-world image segmentation and out-of-the-box use cases via prompting technique that is similar to how LLMs can perform a range of tasks without requiring custom data or expensive adaptations. The model has already made a tremendous impact across disciplines. There are a lot of applications which are already in the production and I already have mentioned them in my previous video where we covered that SAM model. Now, Another good thing is that they have also released SAV dataset, which has 4.5 times more videos and 53 times more annotations than the existing largest video segmentation dataset. This release includes 51,000 real world videos with more than 600k masklets. This SAV dataset has been shared under CC BY4 license, whereas the model itself, SAM2, has been released under permissive Apache 2 license, which is really cool. If you look at the architecture, it is actually quite interesting. Now, what is happening here is that it is a uh, unified architecture from SAM to SAM2. SAM2 architecture can be seen as a generalization of SAM from the image to video domain. SAM2 can be prompted by clicks, positive or negative, bounding boxes or masks to define the extent of object in a given frame. A lightweight mask decoder takes an image embedding for the current frame and encoded prompts to output a segmentation mask for the frame. In video setting, SAM2 propagates this mask prediction to all video frames to generate a masklet. Prompts can then be iteratively added on any subsequent frame to refine the masklet prediction. I will drop the link to its project page in video's description and you can read further along. But let's go to now my Google Colab, the free one, and then we will get it installed and see how it works. Okay, so this is a free Google Colab and all you have to do is to sign up with your Google account, then go to runtime, change runtime type, and then T4 GPU. Let's first git clone the repo of segment anything and then we are installing all the prerequisites. Let it run. It it is take uh, it takes around four to five minutes, so let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are installed and then we would have to restart the session so that everything could take effect. 
okay so as you can see that things have been installed we have restarted it let's next download all the checkpoints and for that all we need to do is to cd into checkpoints directory and this is the download script which has been provided by meta so let's run it and it is in their github repo and i will drop the link in video's description so you see it is downloading around four of the models they're not that big and they are already done and they contain both for image and video next up let's import the stuff which we have installed earlier should not take too long okay next up let's use pytorch auto cast feature and we are using um, this to enable automatic mixed precision training on CUDA device with the compute capability 8 or higher and we are using torch.bfloat16 as a lower precision data type and allowing the use of TF32 for faster computation and that is what all this code is doing that is already done okay next up let's grab the video predictor model and it is we already have downloaded it in our checkpoint directory so let's grab it and initialize our predictor and then next up let's define two functions provided by meta so one function is show mask and the other one is show points the show mask function displays a mask which is a 2d binary array on a given axis ax with a specified color and then it takes the parameters like mask ax object id which is an optional object id to determine the color if random color is false and then random color is primarily a boolean value so this function generates a color based on the object id or random color if, sp if specified and then it reshapes the mask to have a single color channel and multiplies it with the generated color it also displays the colored mask on the given axis using ax.imshow the next function show point this function displays points on a given axis which is ax in our case with different colors based on their labels it takes coordinates of the points to be displayed as parameter label corresponding to each point 0 or 1 and then axis on which to display the point it also uses parameters like marker underscore size which is the size of markers used to display the points and then we have functions um, so sorry so this point show point function separates the points into positive label label 1 and negative label label 0 it displays the positive points with green stars and negative points with the red stars on the given axis using ax.scatter and then it customizes the marker appearance with a white agent specified a size so let me run it and it is going to create these functions that is done and next up let's grab some frames of a video meta has already provided some sample frames of a video in the in, uh, their github repo so i'm just going to use them and in order to get it i'm just seeding to the content directory and then this is a notebook videos bedroom this is where they have kept some of the frames and you can also get it we are just scanning all the jpeg images and they must be in this format frame underscore index dot jpg and then let's display one of them let me run it and then it is going to display the image there you go so this is the image which is present one of the frame okay so at this point we have our model we have installed all the prerequisites and we have our frames next up let's initialize the state of the predictor by simply running this command let's wait for it to finish we are just giving it the video directory it is just initializing it by reading all the jpeg images okay next up let's reset the state so that it is at the start and we could start doing the predictions with it and now let's see how it works so what we are going to do we are just going to use this sample code from meta so we'll be just adding a positive click at certain point in the image let's run it let me go down and you can see the image there should be a green star and that sort of stuff and there you go so it, you see it has already segmented it just you know one of the kid in the photo how good is that amazing amazing stuff and of course you can change these as you like 
okay and in the next example all we are doing it we are simply iterating through those uh, directory which we have just shown you and we are running the propagation through the throughout the video and collecting the result in a dictionary and then we are uh, rendering the segmentation result every few frames so you see it is just propagating in the video at the moment and it is also showing you the ETA and just think about it we are just using a t4 gpu which is a free one and still the speed is quite decent it is for uh, 200 passes it has just under three minutes which is good so just imagine how good and fast this would be on a good gpu so let's wait for it to finish and there you go so it has started putting out the results here this is the first frame then another frame another frame and then it is going on and about amazing amazing stuff so that's it great stuff so that was the video let me also quickly show you how you can do the images with it let me enter new cell and this is again i'm using the provided sample image from their notebook you can use your own of course let's try to plot it first this is just a truck it is going to take that image and convert it in rgb and show us this is a truck which we are going to check out and for that let's first load the model and i'm just going with that sam to hire a large dot pt so the model is initialized next up let's set our image with the predictor and now in order to select the truck we just need to provide a point on it and then it is going to put some sort of green star on the image and points are simply an input to the model in xy format and they come with labels one for the foreground point and zero for background point and multiple points can be input but for this one we are just going with one okay so we already have set our points now let's plot it and in order to do the plotting i am going to just simply plot it and it is going to put the green star somewhere on the truck let's wait for it there you go you see so we have our green star on the truck which is correct it's going to remove this okay similarly you can also um, use the image to predictor you can do multitasking there are a lot of stuff you can do um, on the basis of it for example if you want to check out the shape of the predictor you can do with this command this is showing you the torch also there is another function where you can use predict um, with the sam to image predictor and the model returns the masks quality predictions for those masks something like that and also low resolution mask logits which is the raw score that can be passed to the next iteration of the uh, predictor and then you can also check out the masks shape as i was mentioning earlier and if you're not from the <clears throat> computer vision background don't worry too much about this just enjoy how you are how you can do the masking after the prediction so for example in order to show the mask you will see it is going to mask the image hopefully there you go so this is the mask score here it has masked it how good is that and then of course <clears throat> it can there's another mask it has created on the whole truck and then hope i think there are also yeah so that is all done there are three masks it has created let me scroll up so first second and there should be a third i think it's just broken i think it should be third or maybe i just gave it two okay that is fine and then <clears throat> sorry and then you can even specify more objects with it if you like for example if you want to uh, because single point is ambiguous and the model has returned multiple objects consistent with it to obtain a single <clears throat> object multiple points can be provided if available a mask from a previous iteration can also be supplied to the model to add in prediction so for example you want to go with something like uh, let me put the code here and that will be better understood so this is what I just said that we are specifying a specified specific object with additional in points and then you can simply use this code 
to get the score and masks and then you can simply show the masks and showing the mask is same function from Meta's repo which you can use and let's wait for it to come there you go so it has created the mask and now you see the two points here and then if you just want to uh, for example to exclude want to exclude the car and just specify the window a background point with label zero which is in red can it, you can also do that let me show you how simply it is just a coordinate game here where you are inputting point you are inputting label you are specifying the mask and then you just show them so uh, we already have defined and know what show mask function does which i did in the start of the video so once you get the hang of it it becomes quite easy you are just reusing same function and again and again so that you see the now positive negative one so we have just used it you can also specify a specific object with a box if you like and for the box one all you need to do is to just provide the coordinates of the box first then you just have to again provide the mask and then you have to show the mask and then you will change the coordinates but let's first see what this creates the bounded box around there you go so it's a wheel which it has done you can also combine points and boxes let me show you how so if i go here i'm just giving it this input box and input point let's again as usual give it a mask and score and then we can just show it so let me give you that command too and it's all in the repo and i will also drop it properly in my blog and you can follow it from there there you go so it should print everything soon there you go so point and also the whole box is there and there are a lot of other things which you can do like you can even do the bashed prompt input for example for bashed prompt input you can just specify again the coordinates and similarly you can specify the mask and scores something like this and then you can plot it off and for plotting again we are using standard matplot library so let's wait for it it is going to plot it all there you go how good is that and then of course you can do end-to-end -end inference whatever you like there are a lot of things which you can do so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this amazing amazing model i think really groundbreaking especially when it comes to video um, frames a lot of things can be done with it and i'm more than sure we will be seeing more and more products being made out of this model that's it i hope that you liked it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching